In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add text onto a path inside of InDesign to create effects like this. In this example, I use the pen tool because of the unique nature of the burger and the way they needed the text to flow, but there's nothing stopping you from using any one of the preset shapes inside of InDesign to flow your text around and attach to a path. Now I know the copy that's going to go on this and I have it in the text remnant side. So uh, if I just switch over here, press the T key to get to the type tool, swipe over all that text, copy that with command and C, hit the escape key, hold down the space bar and pan back. Then I'll need to go back to the type tool, click and hold down on it with the left mouse button to reveal the type on a path tool. That's the tool we need in this specific scenario. So click on that. You'll notice that I get a type insertion icon, uh, which is a dotted wavy line. And the trick for this is I know I need to put my text onto the path, hover just above it, just hover it down slowly until you see a plus and you know then that your type tool is in the right place when you left click. The only thing you'll notice then if you're eagle eyed is that the type tool now jumps onto the start of my path. And if you want to do, you could type straight in here if you wish to, you could do that absolutely fine. But of course, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of command and V to paste my text in there. So at the moment, that's what I get. Now, just to show you, I am going to hit the escape key to come out of type editing mode that will select the text and the path in there. That's why we've got the bounding box around here. And I will now that I've got my path working in there, come back to this and then change the stroke to none. So it just leaves me with my text and my bounding box. It'll also make it easier for us to spot this line here indicates where the text starts on the path, usually always the very beginning of the path. You then have a midpoint here, which you can drag left and right along your path to move it along the path in there, whichever direction you need. But you won't be able to do that until you go to the very end. And this is the end point of your text. So if you hover your cursor over these, the cursor icon will change to a little uh, line pointing either left or right or up in there. And in my case, if I just hover it over there, I can click and hold down the mouse and drag and pull that back. Now, if I pull it back too far, I lose my text. So these markers here, the start, the middle and the end, denote where your text can be visible on your path. So if I just hover over the top end of that and just pull it back over towards the right hand side until I've definitely got all of my characters in there. At that point, then what you can do is you can hover over the midpoint and you get a little arrow next to your cursor pointing up. You can then drag that along your path. And if I'm lucky, if I click and hold down and pause first and then drag, yeah, it's not going to give me a live preview, but click and drag. You'll notice now that we've got this spare bit of room now at the end of the path, you can move this around. So you don't have to use all of the path. You can just define which part you need. But the key thing is you've got to pull that end point right back to just the end of where your text is to be able to do that. Now, uh, here you'll see here that I actually I want to use all of the path. So I'm going to hover my cursor over the start point, click and hold down the mouse, drag that all the way back to the beginning of the path. And there, there. Well, let me pull it back any further. And then for the end point, again, I want to hover over that and pull it right back to the end in there like so. And notice that when I lengthen the space that's available on there, the midpoint as well moves around. So just things to be aware of to control where your text fits on the path. Now to hover over this, and if you do click on that and drag and pull it underneath, you'll get upside down text. Don't worry. You can either go to edit and undo or just simply hover your cursor over that, drag it up and to the top of that line, and that will like to drag it up and down. So above or below that line in there. So just be careful of that one, but that can happen really easily. That's how you solve it. So now to format the text. So I'm going to double click on my text, press command A to select all of it. And I'm going to use a font called Ed's Market Narrowed. And this is on Adobe fonts. So as with all my tutorials, try and use fonts that are available part of the Creative Cloud license. So click on that. You'll notice that it's an all uppercase style font. I am going to increase the overall size of all my characters in there to 14 points. I don't need to worry about the leading. There's only one line of text in here. If you just want to keep all your text the same size and you're thinking, oh, I want to fill out that line a little bit more, you can go up to this value here. It's called tracking. And if you've never used it before, as long as you highlight the text you want to affect with the type tool, you can tap up to increase the space between every character consistently. Conversely, you can tap the down arrow and you go to a, a, a negative value, you can tighten the space between them all. So this is probably one of the type features that you'll need to use quite a lot when you're working with type on a path to make things just nudge it into place, really, to use the best of that path that you can. But I do want to pluck out some words as a final step in here. So 
I'm going to double click on this word vegetarian because this is kind of the, the meatless issue. So it's all about plucking out keywords in here. So for this one, I'm just going to change these to 23 points vegetarian. And then I am going to change this to a tracking value of minus 40 in there. Double click on vegan, do the same for that. Change the point size to 23, set that one to minus 40 and then over to everyone. Change that one to 23 points, press return. And then again, tighten the space up in there to minus 40 and then swipe over the word love. And again, same thing, 23 points, press return, decrease the space in there like so. And then um, obviously select all the text and let's give it something more legible color wise and let's pick paper for that one, press return, hit the escape key to come out of type editing mode. So I see my control handles in here. And then I'm just going to pull this back to the end of where my text is. Go to the middle point and just pull that round. Don't forget, there's no reason why you can't zoom into your path. And if you're thinking, oh, this looks a little bit further away from the path than the bit over on the left hand side, well, switch back to your direct selection tool, hover over, click on your path, find the anchor points. They are a little bit tricky to find, but you can click on them and you can move them around. The text will just live with it. You know, so you can drag these around, move them wherever you need to. Now, obviously, if you make the path length shorter, you're going to run out of room for your text. So just be aware of that one. But there's no reason why you can't edit these paths. So as always, folks, if you're not a subscriber, do click on the subscribe button and um, click on the bell. You'll get notified every time we post a video here. If you've liked the video and found it uh, helpful, please give it a thumbs up and it'll help me to reach more people and help them save time as well. And until next time, farewell.